Being from the Lord, amen. So, uh, Brother Sam was sharing from the same Psalm uh, uh, 100, and he was saying, there are many reasons that we are praising God, right? We have many reasons to praise the name of the Lord, and we have many reasons that we, when we remember God's mercies and God's faithfulness, that we are praising God. Amen. So, uh, I was just thinking, you know, that's great that, uh, I mean, he was sharing about, uh, I mean, why we should praise God, why we should give thanks to the Lord, and all those things are very true. And even I was also talking about that from Psalm number 23 on um, our Thanksgiving celebration in George House. And really, it was a, it was a wonderful, I mean, uh, a program that we had uh, in that, uh, I mean, house, especially you know, we had uh, 10 uh, uh, Sachs Day students and uh, uh, many of them were saying after our program that it was a great thing that you did and uh, uh, they were enjoying the message also. They were enjoying the worship and they were enjoying the fellowship. I mean, so we have to pray for them. I mean, we had to pray for them. And we were able to um, uh, give the Bible and the track to all those uh, students also. I mean, it was a great thing that we are doing. At the same time, we need to pray for them and encourage them and call them, invite them. Uh, for the for the worship service in our church in the, and not only worship service other programs also for the fellowship together and we will have that and we had we had another uh, brother and family on that day uh, one uh, uh, brother Binu and uh, uh, sister Asha and uh, their uh, daughter and uh, came with uh, I mean Rachel and family uh, friend of uh, Anne's sister working with her and we we will pray for them also you know they are from a different background and we need to pray for them and we pray for all those people those who are attending in that Thanksgiving in between I was saying that at the same time you know I have something different you know maybe maybe a different dimension from the same sign okay a different dimension, a different thought from that psalm. Because I was, when I was reading that psalm, I got this, uh, I mean, this I mean, thought in my mind, and I was thinking, what are the right, uh, what is the right attitude of a true worshipper? What is the right attitude of a true worshipper? attitude what is the right or what is the right attitude of a true worshipper? Okay, we all are calling ourselves as the, we don't have a slide, okay? So I didn't prepare that this this message, so there is no slide. So listen to me, and if you need the, the points, that maybe maybe I, I made maybe uh, uh, three three four points. That I just I mean I mean giving that points. Okay, so we say that we are the true worshippers, right? You know, and we are praying that, oh Lord, when we are coming to the presence of God, we are worshipping in truth and spirit. So, it is great that we are thanking God. It's great that we are praising the name of the Lord. Remembering God's mercies and I mean, faithfulness and blessings. And we are giving thanks to the Lord. But God is looking to a person who is coming to worship the Lord. When we are looking at the Lord and God is looking to a person who is coming to the worship. Amen. And when God sees that person, he is asking that he is expecting something from us. You know, we should know that worship is an act of act of giving. Okay. Worship is an act of giving. giving. That means when we worship, we are giving to the Lord. What we are giving to the Lord? Praises. 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 Glory. Thanks, hallelujah. And we are giving, 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 giving. At the same time, we are expecting something from God, right? You know, we are giving to the Lord the praises and glory and honor and everything. And we are receiving from the Lord the blessings again and again. Hallelujah. Not only, I mean, coming, uh, not only the time when we are coming to the church, I mean, every moment of our life, we are receiving the blessings from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And that's the reason in the Bible we are reading that what shall I render unto the Lord for what the Lord has done for me? Nothing I can do but only one thing that I am taking the cup of salvation and praising the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That's the reason that we are here today. Amen. Amen. 
ദൈവത്തിന്റെ <laughs> fellowship with god and also with the fellow believers right you know the fellowship towards god and with god and fellowship towards the fellow believers okay all the brothers and sisters those who are children those who are sitting here we are having the fellowship with all those people and the same time we have the direct fellowship with god god hallelujah and that's the reason bible very clearly says that in hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 it says that do not forsake assembling together what is that ningada sabha yogangale endu irunde ubechiyai vicharikkirathu hallelujah what a wonderful word it is you know when we are coming for the worship service remember one thing do not forsake assembling together that means sabha yogangale ubechiyaiṭa vicharikkirathu ningal ellavarum endu cheyanam eagerly you need to come to the church man so uh, do we have that eagerness to come to the church right. yes. i don't know yes. Yes. yes we do yes see see i need to say that i need to hear that yes, yes. man we have the eagerness to come to the presence of god Amen. you know in david in uh, in, uh, in 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 1 sam he is saying that okay, okay when my friends were saying let us go to the temple of god i was so glad hallelujah praise the lord i was so glad when somebody told me that uh, when they just got to the temple of god kartavane sanilot aaradhane ku vendi pogam ennu parayum etha vera sandoshikkunnarunde hallelujah so the first attitude that we should have a true as a, as a, as a true believer as a true worshipper is shouting unto the name of the lord that's what we are reading in verse 1 of psalm number 100 shout joyfully to the lord all the earth serve the lord with gladness come before him with joyful singing know that the lord himself is god and okay that's it okay it says that shout joyfully to the lord okay so what should be the attitude of a true worshipper when we are coming to the presence of god the attitude of joy shouting the attitude of shouting etra vera nu shout cheyadu devathe aaradhichu amen you know we are thinking, okay so we are i was simply sitting there like you know the centric was uh, leading the service and he was saying praise the name of the lord praise the name of the lord i mean remember the mercies of god remember the faithfulness of god thank you thank you thank you say thank you thank you thank you sam also was saying thank thank you that uh, say thank you nammal endha cheyyene ellare endiya force you are forcing the people thank you thank you say thank you th- thank you there is no need of forcing in worship if you have an attitude the real attitude of shouting to the lord nammal shout cheyan madikkunna endina amen eh kartavane aaradhikku nammal endina shout cheyan madikkunna endina engal mundu aadirikkune okay those who are sitting silently they are so sad they are so sad amen so you are so sorrowful that's the reason they, that you are not able to shout to the lord hallelujah, hallelujah. say hallelujah shout a hallelujah hallelujah one more time hallelujah one more time hallelujah, hallelujah. we are shouting unto the name of the lord because because we have some reasons we have some reasons you know so now i used to say one uh, example about uh, the the paste le nammada paste colgate paste okay close up paste okay nammada naattile paste vittirunne so the paste what toothpaste toothpaste okay the toothpaste you know the earlier time okay the the aunties and uncles also sitting here you will know that in the earlier time now now not now but in the earlier time you know we used to press it you know it it gets over and again and again you're pressing it pressing it pressing pressing the pressing the leaf ഏറ്റവും 
Thank God. <laughs> you know, he is saying that okay, he, even there is nothing, we will cut it and take take out all those things from the inside. Okay. Why we are doing that? Why we are doing that? Because because there is nothing inside. It is not filled. Okay? If inside is filled, then there is no need of force. There is no need of compulsion. There is no need to say, Oh, brothers and sisters, praise the name of the Lord. Praise, 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 praise. No. No need. If you are sitting here with the attitude of shouting, and if you believe that, if you believe that, I mean, something is in my heart, hallelujah, when I remember the things that God has given me, when I remember the things that God has filled me in my heart, and that is the expression of something which you have in your heart. Hallelujah. What does shouting mean? What, is me, what, do you, what do you mean by shouting? Shouting means, I mean, this is the expression of something that which is filled in our heart, right? You know, Hallelujah. <laughs> Can you, can you can you thank God when without the compulsion, without the forcing of other people, without the forcing of a pastor? Yep, yep, yep. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's that we, where we are reading in that verse number, I mean one that I mean shout joyfully to the Lord all the year. Hallelujah. And secondly, 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 you know, you if you read uh, maybe Psalm number 40, verses 1 to 3, there is no need to, I mean, there is no need to do because when we know all those things, okay, why we are shouting to the Lord? Okay, the reasons are there in Psalm number 40, verses 1 to 3. You will read many things there. Why we are shouting to the Lord. Why we, why we are not silently sitting. Why we are shouting to the Lord. There are many reasons. I'm, I'm skipping that point. I mean, we will go to the second thing. What should be the real and true attitude, the right attitude of a true believer or true worshiper? That should be in verse 2. Says that, says that. Man, what is that? Verse 2. Serve the Lord with gladness. So serving, serving must be the right attitude of a person, a true believer. That means serving a master just like a servant. Okay, we are the servants of God, right? You know, you, you are thinking that like only the pastor is a servant of God, right? Pastor Matra Nare, Devada Asan, number of Matthew, Devada Asan. No. Only, not only pastor, all of us are servants of God. Because we are serving God. And we have an example that is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So Jesus Christ come day, came down to this earth and he was serving the people. And we must be the serving people. We must have the, uh, have the mentality of serving God and serving the people. I mean, that's what we are doing everywhere. I mean, I'm, I'm so glad about our ELC, I mean people, ELC members, because we are always ready to serve God and serve the people. Right? I mean, serving mentality. And when you are serving, you know, I was thinking, is it, is, it, is it easy or is it possible for a servant to serve or slave to serve his master gladly? No way, no? Now all the servants, all the slaves will be just thinking, okay, why this man, why this master is giving this much work for me and I'm, I'm, I'm working hard and why this man is doing like this? In that mentality, in that attitude only, that person will be serving the master. But here it says that serve the Lord. When we are serving Lord, we will be serving with gladness, right? Eh? And then I Hallelujah. Serving with singing. Serving with singing. So that should be the attitude of a person who is a true worshipper. And thirdly, thirdly, in verse 3, in verse 3, the attitude of submission. We should have an attitude of 
Submission. What is the submission? In verse 3 we are reading that know that the Lord himself is God. It is he who made you and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Where? Namal aana aana. Eh? Avande? Avan vekinna? That's the same thing that we are reading in Psalm number 23. That amen, we are the sheep and we have a shepherd. Hallelujah. We are the people and we are the sheep under his pasture. That means we should have a submissive heart when we are coming for the worship service. We should have a submissive heart. Amen. Without submission, we cannot please God. Without submission, I mean, if you are not submissive in the hands of God, if you are not submissive in the, in the, in the, under, under the master or the shepherd, we are not able to thank God. Amen. And fourth thing, the attitude of sacrifice. That's what we are reading in verses 4 and 5. This is a small psalm, but many things are, a lot of things are there in that psalm. You know, it says that, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. Because for the Lord is good, his loving kindness is everlasting, and his faithfulness to all generations. Yeah. Hallelujah. We are concluding that message here. Hallelujah. And it's a great thing that we are gathering together in the presence of God in worshiping God, right? Yeah. Amen. And just I mean, just examine. Do I have that attitude of attitude of shouting? And attitude of serving, attitude of submitting. And attitude of sacrifice. What is sacrificing and worshipping God? You know, many times we are not, not ready to sacrifice ourselves. Okay? That means sacrificing ourselves and praising God. Okay? When we think that, okay, I am something, there is no worship God. There is no worshipping God. But when we think I am nothing and saying that, oh Lord, you are my everything. You are my everything. That is, that's the meaning of sacrificing Yourself and thank you God. Sacrificing. Okay? You can sacrifice many things. Okay. At the same time, in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, it says, No. Uh, what is that? Present your bodies. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice. And this is the sacrificing worship. Amen. As a living sacrifice acceptable unto the Lord. Hallelujah. So holy and acceptable unto the Lord. Amen. So let us also. Pray that, O oh Lord, as we are coming and as we are worshipping you and as we are praising your name, let us have that real attitude, real and right attitude in me that uh, I will be praising God. Let's have the I mean, shouting attitude and uh, the attitude of serving, attitude of submission and attitude of sacrifice. Let's close our eyes in the presence of God and we're going to sing uh, I mean, one, uh, uh, one more Malayalam song and we are going to worship the Lord now and at the same time we will be offering the offerings also and uh, the, the worship team will be coming forward forward and uh, after um, after that um, uh, after the worship and uh, song and worship uh, um, I would request uh, maybe uh, Reggie brother to come forward and uh, pray for all the